Well, we've got a little sunlight on the unit, so let me show you how it works. If my handy assistant can give me brake lights, please. There's the brake light coming on. And while holding the brake, can you turn on the left turn signal? Very nice. Now the right turn signal and let off the brake. <clears throat> can you give me the four-way flashers on the dash? There's the four-way flashers. So there it is in operation. Well, we're out in the barn. This is my 2019 Airstream Sprinter, my Thule bike rack. And like most of us, we're waiting for an opportunity to get out and travel again. But one thing I noticed is that when we put our electric bikes on the Thule rack, that we blocked the taillights and the license plate. This became exasperated when we covered them as we travel. And so to stay legal, I've installed a light bar with a turn signal and brake light. And I've remoted the license plate with a required license plate light to a bracket that I made and installed on the back of the Thule. Give you guys a little bit of a shot here. Now, the reason that there's two of those is because when the rack goes down, I'll loosen this one and move it down to here, and this whole thing will then rotate up. So as an example, if I drop it, that's our normal traveling position. Of course, without having it rotated, it's worthless. However, 95% of the time, we're not carrying bikes. And so this is the default position. I will list down below all the parts that I used. And before you uh, jump ahead, let me explain that the Sprinter and most European vehicles have a circuit internal for the uh, trailer hitch that detects the loss of a light bulb. And these LEDs do not provide enough of a load to fool the Sprinter computer into believing that they're there. And so there is an adapter. I'll list that part again below the video, but the adapter actually puts some resistance on those connectors to fool the Sprinter. And consequently, it'll work. <clears throat> now, just to be clear, this light right here, I had to wire into the cable that controls the back lights so that it would illuminate when the back lights are on. And here is my adjustment, my connector rather, the four pin connector to the seven pin under the chassis. The reason that it's right here is that I have the swing out. The swing out unit allows us to take our bikes, literally swing them away from the door. They'll end up clear out here. So I've got to be able to unconnect that when I swing it around. Hope this helped you guys come up with some ideas because it's not necessarily just a Thule thing or Thule as they say. This can be adapted to anything. The reason that the offset occurs by the way is look, I've got this stick out here. I can't put them on fl flush on this because of this unit. So there you go. A little bit of an idea for any Sprinter or RV person using a class B carrying bikes.